Who's going to Tokyo in the men's 800? We're about to find out. Donovan Brazier, fourth from the right in the black and white, is the favorite. And you heard Donovan say it in the piece, you have to have the guts to go out at a pace that's going to hurt. I don't expect anything other than that from Donovan. He's going to push the pace early. One of the races I was most excited to come to these championships and see Donovan Brazier is such an exciting athlete to watch compete. He can win from the front, he can win from behind. Just so tactical, a real, real star for Team USA. He doesn't let anything get on top of him because even at the World Championships he was behind and then staged just the most exciting and exhilarating final lap. And here he is here, edging his way into third and then second past Bryce Hopple. He's out chasing Isaiah Champion Jewett. And this is how Jewett ran the race at the NCAAs. He went for it and won from brick to brick. So he's trying to attempt to do that here and he will need to do that to be in the top three. That's brave running by Jewett, 50.6 at the half. He went out in 24. Nine. This is great, brave running if you can survive it, Lee. Hopple is third. Here comes Clayton Murphy now. Murphy is moving up. Murphy's putting pressure on Hopple. Only the three go through. They shoulder each other now. And Donovan Brazier's in trouble. Brazier's in trouble. Brazier is in huge trouble. The world champion is flailing. He will not be going to the Olympics. What has happened to Donovan Brazier? Meanwhile, the young upstart, Isaiah Jewett, leads. He gets overtaken, but he's got a spot to Tokyo. Clayton Murphy's going back. So too is Jewett. And then Bryce Hopple. What happened to the champion? That is the biggest upset of the trials thus far. Donovan Brazier, world champion, American record holder, is not going to Tokyo. What just happened?